Who the hell are you? I'm Tall Paul. I'm Tall Paul with Ogre, Old Guys Outdoor Review. And today we are filming in the Yeard Wilderness. In the yard. The yard? The yard. Oh, oh yeah. We're in the backyard. Today we're going to be uh, comparing and reviewing cots. Now, uh, the first cot I remember sleeping on is one of those old wooden military ones with the canvas long time ago. And I don't remember it being that comfortable, but every cot since then has been about the same comfort. So we're going to compare other things. This is the the Rollicott by Camp Time. And my parents got this many years ago. They got two of them. One bent and is now impossible to get together. And we can't see where it bent, so we can't fix it. Uh, but this one, I hope, is a good one. And it weighs in at 10 pounds. It is 37 inches long, so it's not something you're gonna backpack with. Uh, it's currently going for $144 and it holds 250 pounds and i took this on a road trip i use this a lot for uh rip, whitewater river rafting i took it on a road trip and i remember every single time it being a pain in the butt to set up so we're gonna try to figure out how to set this thing up over here on camera i don't it's been years it's been over 20 years since i set this thing up but we do have two other cots to review and, um, and we'll check them out. Now, one thing with cots is the, uh, no matter which cot you use, what you're sleeping on is very thin. This one has a mesh, so it's gonna air out very nicely, but it's, it's all thin. Any cot is gonna be thin. And the thing with a thin cot is you're gonna need some sort of mattress. I currently use a very nice memory foam mattress. It makes it more comfortable than my bed. Uh, but back in the day, I used to just uh, I used to just put a blanket here and it'd keep the air from coming up and it worked great. And then when it got cold, like it did in Boise, Idaho in April, I was sleeping on this thing and I had a really good, good uh, sleeping bag and it got very, very cold. And I just kept wrapping up and it was nice to have that blanket to kind of wrap up a little more. One of the downsizes, sides, downsizes. I'll take a small instead of a medium, sir. One of the downsides of the cot is, uh, I mean, all this is aluminum and I just, I don't know if it wore off by now, but I just remember it getting that black aluminum all over your hands every time I handled it. So I do remember to put this together. There's a pull in here. And you just kind of slide it down on top and then the hole be exposed i like it when the hole exposes <laughs> right there hi they pinch your head nah, 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 nah. anybody remember that skit comedy show from the 90s i think it's called uh what was it kids in the hall or something like that so when it's all put together it comes out to 74 inches uh, 28 inches wide and 15 inches tall. And I don't remember this being the hard part to put together, but somehow it is today. Okay. This is a hard part to put together. <laughs> I don't remember, it's been so long. I uh, remember this goes in here, which means this one goes, how the heck, oh, okay, I remember. So this goes in here like that, this goes in here like that. Cool thing is you could uh, adjust it to make it spread out and in, so you could make it tighter or looser as you see fit. Whatever is more comfortable for you. And now that I'm remembering, it doesn't seem as big of a pain in the butt as I remembered it being all those years ago. But it's not together yet. And uh, I don't know if this is the one that actually works or the one that broke all those years ago. This is the part that I remember being difficult. Mm. 
and that wasn't too bad. Now another drawback of this is it only holds 250 pounds. I am 220 pounds last time I checked. Probably a little heavier because I like cookies and, and queso and all the funny, fun yum foods. So I probably weigh a little bit, yeah, I'm probably not quite 250 yet, but you know, I'll keep trying. And that may be why the other one broke is because some, a large person got on it. And here is the moment of truth. Is this the one that worked or the one that broke? It's the one that worked. Or broke because there's no Velcro here to hold it, but that's fine. So I just checked online. This is going for $144 today. And again, you could make this, uh, you could tighten these and make this looser or tighter. So it's not as floppy. It is a pretty comfortable tent, or tent, uh, pretty comfortable cot because I slept on this for, for what, two, three months, something like that, almost every day for three months on my road trip. Went around the Pacific Northwest, and if I wasn't in a hotel, I was sleeping on the cot, and uh, it was comfortable. Just make sure with any cot you put some sort of padding down, be it a folded blanket or a, a glorious pad that's memory foam, nice stuff. So that is the, the uh, Camp Time Rollicot. So this next cot is the Extremist Mission Mountain Cot. It's actually quite comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's very comfortable, yes. Our camera guy over here, Cody, used it the other day on our overnight camping trip. And um, I got it, I set it up in the living room and it was very comfortable. And now that I have that nice memory foam mattress, I just wanna curl up and go to sleep. That's what we did on our camping trip. We slept in cots probably 90% of the time. The other 10% was tearing it down and setting up the camp. So this weighs about, oh, let's see here. I wanna say about, uh, 4.4 pounds. Ask me how I know. How do you know? How do you I know? saw it online. I read it. <laughs> it's pretty easy to set up. This is a short cot. Uh, I wanted a short cot, so because I have a TP tent. So it has three sets of legs. And Paul, Paul. Yes. Can you explain why having a short cot in a TP tent is? I will explain why having a short cot in a teepee tent is rather important. A teepee tent has slanted sides, so if you have a tall cot, you're eating canvas or whatever your tent is made out of, and you're breathing it in, and it's wiggling against your hair, and, and it takes up a lot of room, and you'll have a lot of storage room on the, the wall side of the tent, but you're really taking up a lot of the center space by having a tall cot. By having a short cot, you could open up the center space, leaving room for other stuff and actual movement through the tent, and you could squish it up closer to the, to the edge of the tent, and you'll still have a little bit of storage space, and if you squish it close enough, you will be lucky enough to still have tent flapping in your face, but you'll have more room in the center. And that's why having a short tent is important, or a short cot is important. I keep saying tent instead of cot because I really like my tent a lot. Very nice it is a very nice tent. Camera guy used it along with the cot. So this is, this is actually a really comfortable cot. It folds up and you get your ninja pulls like we talked about in the tent unboxing. You'll be comfortable all night. So you put these together like that. This one is very nice to put together. So this is the end. You're gonna look for 
the end with the big red arrow. You slide this in through that hole, put the pole in the hole. Need some air around it? Now maybe need some lube. So you put the pole in the hole, and I'm doing this on a table so it's awkward. It's actually not this hard to do it normally. And then you put the pole in the hole again. And you just keep doing that all the way down. Throw that on the ground so we don't have it for later. Put the pole in the hole. And put the pole in the hole. And then you just grab the end here, it has a little tab. Grab the end, push that in, and that one's ready to go. And as you can tell, it has a nice pocket right here to hold your cell phone and whatever gear you want. Like Pringles. Pringles. <laughs> Gee, I wonder who is eating in my cot. <laughs> hey Monty, you want some Pringles? Monty. Huh, do you want some Pringles? Come on. No? No? Fine then. I'll give them to the ants. We'll give Dale an ant problem. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> so you do the same thing on this side. Put the pole in the hole with the red arrow. And push that end in just like that. Then you place it upside down and you're gonna put the legs on. Now one cool thing I like about the legs is it has these uh, foam pads. So when I'm camping in the dirt, I like putting them right here so that they're not getting torn up by the ground. But if you're at somebody's house and using this to sleep on, you could put them right there so they don't tear up the floor. They don't scratch the floor. So uh, that's, that's kind of nice. It doesn't slide around. These, you just push the button and they pop open, allowing you to attach the hook to the pull. Just like that. And then this one goes right there. And then you close this up and it'll click. Do that two other times. And you have your cot. Now this one is 75 inches long, so it's an inch taller than the, the roller cot. Um, it's nice and taut. Make a drum. Sing it, Monty. Um, it's only, what, what was that, seven, seven inches from the ground? 
Um, and it's going for $74.99 on Amazon right now, was $99.99. So if it's still $74.99 when you see it, I do recommend this cot. It is a very comfortable cot if you want a short cot. If you don't want a short cot, get a tall cot because, uh, you know, I have a spider web attached directly to me. <laughs> I haven't been standing here that long, have I? <laughs> you talk a lot, Paul. No, I don't. Oh man, I do. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, if you, uh, you know, I guess if you have bad back or something, it'd be hard to get out of something, something short. So you, some people may want a taller cot if they're not in a TP style tent would be another reason to get a taller cot. But this is very nice, very comfortable, very sturdy because it actually held Cody's weight. And this does, sorry, Cody, couldn't resist. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> and uh, it does hold 310 pounds. So or that, 360. or 360, 260. or 260. <laughs> So don't try this cut, Cody. <laughs> don't try this cut. Um, so uh, this is the Extremis Mission Mountain Cot. And last but not least, we have the One Tigress Cot. Uh, this one weighs at eight pounds or what was it, 3,840 grams or something like that. I don't know why they chose to put grams on the site, but, and there's a reason it weighs heavier. Uh, it does have the, the mull webbing on the outside of the bag, which is kind of cool. Nice little handle here. It holds 330 pounds. Now I got this for two reasons. One, I wanted something to, uh, to hold a little more weight simply because you know, if I sit down with some gear on my back or something. And the other reason, we'll get to a little later. Yes, I am the one Tigress poster boy at this point. They don't know I said that, but I'm sure they will soon. It does come with instructions sewn into the bag on how to put it together. I think this one holds more weight because it doesn't have three leg supports like the extremists, it has four. It has the poles, the ninja poles, just like the extremists. We'll just put those there for now. And then it comes with these. This is actually one of the main reasons why I got it and we'll get into that later. And this is what gives it a lot of extra weight as well. So one of the things I like about this is how easy it is to put together. This one kind of has a double pocket area. So you're gonna put it in on this side over here with the tab and it has a pocket down here so you could slide it and it gets past these holes a lot easier. And you could just slide it all the way through. Assuming it's nice and straight like that. If it's all bunched up, then you're gonna have trouble getting it through. But it does make it just that much easier. So you put that right in there and just kind of hold it down towards the bottom Get it past the one hole, get it past the next one. It's bunched up, so it's probably gonna slide out there, which it did. And get it into the last one there. And like the other cot, you just pull that over. Now if you notice there's pockets, there's a pocket on each side and there's mole webbing on each side. Uh, when I used this this weekend, the uh, pocket was 
digging down into the dirt just because the dirt was, was a little deep and it kind of made my cot sag a little bit. So you do the same thing with this one here. And this cot goes for currently $169.98 on Amazon. Flip it upside down to put the legs in. Now this is a short cut as well. So it works well inside the TP style tent. Make sure when you put the legs on, the bar goes up in the center. So the legs are here where it hits the ground, bar goes up in the center because this actually comes down and your tent will rock. So if you want to prank somebody, you could put it upside down and have them roll off the tent. <laughs> but this is the way it's gotta be. You put it on the same way as, as the extremists. Just open that up. Attach it. Attach it. And there you go. So you got four of those and I, I'm pretty sure that's why it actually holds 20 more pounds than the other one that has three. Cause there's just more support points. This one is very comfortable. It's what I use. And of course I have that awesome sleeping pad on it. Just like before, attach it there and lock it. See, that's upside down. You don't want to do it that way. The reason you don't want to do it that way is because as you can see, it doesn't support itself. So you want to make sure the bow goes down towards the ground. The one thing I, I worry about with, um, with things like this is this twisting, kind of like the, the old style vehicles that had the, the parking brake where you pull it out and twist it and eventually it just twists and twists and twists and breaks. I know this isn't the same material and it's much more forgiving, but I do kind of worry about constantly doing that each time you do it. And there you go. It is as long, 75 inches long. But you're probably asking yourself, self, there was another bag in there. What's going on with that? And this is what adds extra weight. You have extra feet. 
So you could make this into a Talcott if you want, which is freaking cool if you ask me. So now it doesn't matter if you're, what kind of tent you're in, if you're in a, a tent that you need the extra headroom and you want to be lower, you can do the short cot. A lot of dirt in there from <laughs> using it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this cut at all. It's, it's the one I never ever use. And now you have the tall cot, which I think is super cool. So I found this cot to be equally comfortable as this cot. I really did. Um, the reason I like this one better is because it has the double pockets on each side. Haven't used the mole webbing yet, but it does have the double pockets. I like it better because it has the 20 pound more capacity because I do like my food and I know I'm not going to be this, this handsome always <laughs> like I'm handsome. And, um, I like that it has the, um, the extension legs to be able to use it as a full size cot. This is a lot easier to sit on if you're using it as a chair or something, which is another reason why I kind of wanted to get the heavier capacity because two people are sitting on it. You really don't want that because it doesn't hold enough, but it's more of a possibility. And you can still use it as a drum like the other one. So that is the one tigress cut. Rating them, I like this one the best because of the, uh, mainly because of the size difference where you could add the legs. This is my second favorite and that one, I just, I don't like that one. It was, I'm surprised how easy it went together this time after having not put it together for so long. Um, and then looking online, seeing that it only holds 250 pounds. I mean, I, I, last time I weighed myself, I weighed 220 and then you add clothes and pocket gear and stuff like that. I mean, that's 250 easy, you know, if you're having a backpack, you may break that thing sitting on it. So I like the 310 and 320 pound capacity. I love that you can add the legs to this thing and make it a taller cot and uh, just have extra options. I do, if I was backpacking, that would be in my backpack if I wanted to bring a cot because it's the lightest and easiest to carry and most compact. But uh, I got this for roadside camping and using with my hot tent. So this is, this is, my, this is my baby right here. Okay, poster boy. <laughs> so stay tuned, we have more gear to review. We got the One Tiger's chair. We got the Helicon Tex Bob, which is the bug out bag right here. We've got the One Tiger's table. Yes, I, I designate myself as the One Tigress poster boy. And we got the Snug Pack Ionosphere Tent all coming up for review soon. So uh, stay tuned, click like and subscribe, make comments. If you uh, have any gear you want us to review, let us know if we got it. Uh, we'll be happy to uh, test it out and review it. If you want to send us stuff, because I do need a new backpack. One <laughs> Tigress, I do need a new backpack. Um, so uh, yeah, just let us know if you want to have any questions about any of the gear we've reviewed so far, any of the gear that's upcoming, or uh, any gear that, uh, any questions you want at all, we'll be happy to, to answer any questions you got.